Welcome California Seismic Guy fans, we are here today to show you the first earthquake that was picked up by our e-graph. And we are excited about it and I know you guys are because you've been asking for this video. So on my left there it is, the e-graph. As a matter of fact it just put the dust cap on and our camera actually picks it up just nice, both of them. And it gives you at uh, least an overview of what the whole thing looks like. It's a uh, plug and play as we talked about. It's something that you can very easily also move. It's uh, it's portable, in other words. So let's uh, let's talk about a couple things. So people have been asking what happened to the vertical graph. Well, look to your right. There it is. It's out of commission, and the reason being is it actually has been running for a year and a half, and it was time to give it a, a total update, a revision. Uh, things are breaking down. On the, obviously, it's a mechanical machine and we uh, have to revise it and we have to do some update on it. So there it is sitting waiting for us to get to it. But we've been a little busy. We had an earthquake and we're going to show you that right now. Let me take you there. Okay, so let me take you to the uh, earthquake that our EGRAF uh, picked up. And it looks like this. Here it is. As you can see, the earthquake looks very similar to what the uh, old ink and paper seismograph does. It's a flawless uh, picture, it almost is a spitting image of our old ink drum. And that's a good thing. It shows really nicely. 3.6 Big Bear earthquake. It happened on uh, October 6th, four days ago. And you guys have been all asking for it, so here it is. This is kind of a, a good thing to know too. How how robust is our e-graph? How strong is it? What can it handle? Maybe if you have kids at home and you buy one of those, can it handle, you know, if somebody touches it? My four-year-old, as a matter of fact, this is my grandkid. He came out here one night by himself and I wasn't here. And he walked over and he said, hey, check this out. This is new. This is kind of cool. What can I do with it? And uh, let me show you the video here. Okay, here's the video. This is our four-year-old. You see his hand here. And what did he do? He picks up the needle, watch it, it flew through the screen! <laughs> Isn't that hilarious? That is awesome. He picked the thing up and tossed it like an arrow. So what is neat about this, in this video, and I'll show you this on the end, but here is his drawing. It's a Picasso. We love it. <laughs> so anyway, let me take you to the end of the video and you'll see that our e-graph withstand the uh, four-year-old abuse. Here it is. I'm grabbing a needle. I hook the needle back on and as you see, right after I hook it back on, it just continues, continues on its merry old way and the e-graph is just fine. So how robust is the e-graph? Well, I would say pretty robust. Okay, what do you think about yeah, that? Good. Really? <laughs> You're good. So how robust is our e-graph? I would say pretty robust. Could you say robust? Good. So how... <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. That is important. 